What is up everyone, Man Bun Mellet here. It's been a long time since I've done an ES8 video and I probably should have done this one years ago. Controlling the boss ES8 with a computer. And we're not going to waste any time. Well, you'll need an ES8, obviously, or an ES5, a MIDI interface. I'll be using the Roland UM1, but you should be able to use any MIDI interface with an output like the one on your audio interface. If you're using the ES8 editor, you should have the Roland UM1 anyway, because in my experience, it's the most rock solid when using the editor. The last thing you'll need is a computer with a DAW. I'll be using Reaper, but any DAW should work. By the way, I think DAW is the stupidest name for a piece of software. It means digital audio workstation. The workstation is your computer, not the software. But anyway, I digress. First, let's make some connections. Obviously, connect the interface to your computer. With your ES8, you want to connect the MIDI interface output directly to the ES8 input. The input connector on the UM1 says connect to MIDI output. I have MIDI connectors on the outside of my pedal board, so I'll connect to the input. Now, it's important that you only connect the ES8 input to the interface output and nothing else. You won't be able to merge MIDI connections together unless you have a device that does so. So if you have something on your pedal board that is sending MIDI signals to your ES8, you'll have to unplug that. I have this wireless MIDI controller I made that sends signals to the ES8, so I'm going to unplug that MIDI output. You don't need to connect the MIDI interface input to the ES8 output as your computer will only be sending MIDI signals, but I'm going to because I'll be loading up the ES8 editor. I'll also connect the interface input to the back of my pedal board, which is directly connected to the ES8 MIDI output. It also splits to the other pedals on the board, so I'll still be able to make MIDI changes to those pedals. You can always split MIDI signals, but it can be difficult to merge them back together. Before we get into sending signals from our DAW, we need to know what signals we need to send. Simply, it's a program change or PC. But what PC number corresponds to what ES8 patch? Well, you'll have to look at your PC map. Using the ES8 editor is the easiest way to do this, but you can look at one line at a time on the ES8 by hitting edit and going to PC map. Looking at my PC map, we can see what program change number corresponds to what ES8 patch. For instance, PC1 will call bank 0, patch 0, and PC94 will call bank 11, patch 6. Easy as that. It should be pretty easy to see a pattern, and unless you've messed with your PC map, it will probably look just like mine. You'll notice the PC numbers range from 1 to 128. We'll have to be a little careful here because technically MIDI ranges from 0 to 127. So we might be off by one patch. That will be easy to figure out when it happens, but now we won't be surprised if it does. You also notice there are seven banks on the PC map from 0 to 6, which refer to the MSB or most significant byte. Because MIDI is limited to sending 128 different values, the MSB will help us extend that range so we can access all 792 patches on our ES8. We'll see how that works later on. We'll also need to know what MIDI receive channel the ES8 is set to. In the ES8 editor, select the MIDI others page and you can see the channel under RXCH. You can obviously change the channel if you want to. I would also make sure your MIDI out mode is set to out so the MIDI signal from the DAW stops at the ES8. And if you want the ES8 to sync with the MIDI clock from the DAW, set sync to auto. I'd recommend setting it to auto, at least for now. If you're not using the ES8 editor, you can hit edit on the ES8 and scroll to MIDI settings and see and or adjust all the settings there. Now we'll load up our DAW, Reaper in this case. The exact process may vary on other DAWs, but the basic steps are the same. The first thing we'll need to do is initialize our MIDI device in Reaper. We'll want to open the Preferences window by either hitting Control P or going to Options and selecting Preferences. If you have the original menus, Preferences will be at the bottom. Then we'll select MIDI devices under Audio. Under the outputs, you'll want to select your MIDI device. If it says Enabled under Mode, you're all set. Otherwise, double click anywhere on the selected line. Here we'll want to check the Enable Output to this device box. And if you want to send the MIDI clock to the ES8, which we want to, you can check the send clock to this device box. Hit OK to close that window and OK to close the preferences window. Before we start adding our program changes, we can do a quick sanity check to make sure the connections are working by seeing if the ES8 reads the tempo from the DAW. You see why we want to turn those settings on. My project tempo is set to 120 BPM. I'll hit play. And if the tempo is being read by the ES8, it will be displayed between brackets like this. You'll notice the tempo bounces around a little bit. Unfortunately, that's how the MIDI tempo signal is read by the ES8, but it does show us that our connection works. 
Next, I'll add a new track and open the routing options for that track. With my skin, it's this icon that looks like a quarter inch plug. Under MIDI hardware output, select the drop down where it says no output and select your MIDI device. Then select the drop down box under that where you can select the MIDI channel. I like to select the channel the ES8 is set to. As we saw earlier, my ES8 is set to channel 12. So I'll scroll down and select send to channel 12. You can keep it to send to original channels, but then you'll have to make sure to also set the channel for each program change you set. And unless you're sending messages to other devices on this track, it's definitely easier to do it this way. And later on, if you decide to change your media receive channel on the ES8, you just have to change the channel on the track and not every program change. If that was a little over your head, just set it to your ES8 receive channel. Now to send a program change to the ES8, we'll start by making sure the track we're using to transmit MIDI is selected, right clicking in the timeline area and selecting insert then MIDI item. Double click on that new item and it will open the MIDI take window. On the bottom of that window, you want to make sure the bank program select track is visible. In that track, we can double click where we want the ES8 to change and it will open up the bank program select window. All we have to do is input the program change number we want to send to the ES8. I don't need to change the MIDI channel number because remember, I'm forcing the track to transmit to MIDI channel 12. Then we can hit send now and verify the ES8 patch changes to the correct patch. Since I set a program change of two, we'd expect to enable bank zero patch two, according to the PC map. However, it enabled bank zero patch three. This just means that Reaper uses zero to 127. If I change the PC to one and send it, the ES8 will enable bank zero patch two, and if you want to access anything above bank 15 on the ES8, we can just change our MSB. Easy as that. I'll change the MSB back to zero and set the PC to one, then hit okay, and it adds a marker to our bank program select track. If it's not in the right spot, we can grab and drag it to where we need it. Then we'll add another one here. Let's go with PC 24. I'll close my MIDI take window, select in and out points, turn on looping and hit play. We can see the ES8 is changing patches. If I turn on the metronome, you can see how well the ES8 lines up with the beat. You'll notice the item is only one bar long. If I try to grab the end and stretch it, it's going to loop itself. The PC changes we added are repeating. To extend the length of the track, select the track, open the item properties menu by hitting F2, uncheck loop source and hit apply. Now we can open the item and add more program changes. And that is all you need to know to control the ES8 with your computer. If you need any more help with setting up your ES8, make sure to check out all my other videos. And if you wanted to pick up any of the gear I used, check out the links in the description. But hey, until next time, rock on.